after the forest festival ended, Charlie Oliver and Emily returned to their treehouse, ready for new adventures. One evening, Charlie was walking through the forest, admiring the full moon in the sky. Suddenly, he noticed a mysterious blue light emanating from deep within the forest. What's that? Charlie wondered aloud. He decided to investigate. The next morning, Charlie told Oliver and Emily about his discovery. We have to see what that light is, he said. Oliver nodded. This could be the start of a new adventure. Emily was excited. Let's go! They packed their gear and followed Charlie to where he had seen the light. After a long journey, they arrived at an area covered in dense vegetation. The air was filled with a strange fragrance. Do you smell that? Emily took a deep breath. It's so peculiar! Just then, they saw a giant flower blooming under the moonlight emitting a soft blue glow that made the surrounding air shimmer. That's a moonflower. Tiberius the old turtle suddenly appeared behind them. It's a very rare flower that only blooms during a full moon. Charlie Oliver and Emily stared in eye at the beautiful flower. Does it have any special properties? Charlie asked. Tiberius nodded. The moonflower has magical healing powers. Its pollen can heal any wound. But be careful, the pollen can only be collected under the moonlight, and only when the flower is fully bloomed. That's amazing! Emily exclaimed. We should collect some pollen in case we need it. As they prepared to gather the pollen, they heard a rustling noise from the bushes. A shadowy figure emerged, knocking over Charlie's container. Who's there? Charlie shouted. A fox in a black cloak appeared before them. I'm Shadow Fox, he said quietly. You cannot collect the moonflower's pollen. It would disrupt the forest's balance. Why? Oliver asked. The pollen is incredibly powerful. If used incorrectly, it could cause great harm. Shadow Fox explained. I am the guardian of the forest's balance and cannot let you take the pollen. Charlie, Oliver, and Emily looked at each other, puzzled. We don't want to disrupt the balance, Charlie said. We just want to use the pollen to help animals in need. Shadow Fox thought for a moment and then said, Maybe you mean well, but I need you to prove your intentions. If you can pass a test, I will trust you and allow you to collect the pollen. What test? Emily asked. In the depths of the forest, there is an ancient temple with a magical tablet. You must find it and solve the riddle inscribed on it. Shano Fox said. If you can do that, I will believe in your good intentions. Chari nodded firmly. We accept the challenge. Following Shadow Fox's directions, they ventured into the deep forest to find the ancient temple. Along the way, they faced various challenges and obstacles, but through teamwork and cleverness, they overcame them all. Finally, they arrived at the entrance of the temple. The temple looked ancient and mysterious, with walls covered in old symbols and patterns. As they ventured deep inside, they found a large stone tablet covered in intricate puzzles. This is the riddle we need to solve, Charlie said. They began to carefully study the symbols and patterns on the tablet, trying to decipher the riddle. After a long period of effort and thought, they finally solved the riddle, and the tablet emitted a brilliant light. We did it! Emily cheered. At that moment, Shadow Fox appeared. You have proven your wisdom and good intentions. Now, I trust you to safely use the Moonflower's pollen. They returned to the Moonflower and carefully collected the pollen. The pollen glowed in their container seemingly filled with magical power. Thank you, Shadow Fox. Charlie said, we will use this pollen to help those in need. Shadow Fox smiled and nodded. Remember, use the pollen with a kind heart and never misuse its power. Charlie, Oliver, and Emily returned home with the pollen. 
They knew this adventure had taught them not only how to use magical power, but also the importance of maintaining the forest's balance. That night, the forest echoed with joyful music as Charlie and his friends celebrated their success under the moonlight. They knew there were more adventures ahead, and their friendship would make them stronger.